Indiana Pacers versus Milwaukee Bucks. Pacers came into the night with a four game win streak. Let's check it out. Welcome to the source. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Did not take this one very long to get ugly. Bucks came out, showed everyone right quick on national TV, on ESPN, why they are the best team in the league. Unbelievable ball movement, great defense. This team, top to bottom, is as solid as it gets. I do like the Pacers, though. I think they're very well coached, but the Bucks extended out to a league early. Let's take a look at a uh, nice alley oop to Giannis right here, to Giannis, I should say. Bucks are up 13 at the end of the first quarter. Wesley Matthews had eight points. Uh, Giannis had seven. I think Middleton had five, um, just a domination. And the Pacers, you can't even fault them. They're just not as talented. But in the second quarter, Indiana was actually able to force a few turnovers, leading to some transition baskets, as well as this three-point and one, four-point play from McDermott, who actually, in this point of the game, about four minutes into the second quarter, has 12 points off the bench already. Pacers were convert on another and one here and actually bring the lead down to three. Bad news for Pacers fans, Malcolm Brogdon seemed to injure something. I couldn't tell what was hurting, but he walked directly to the locker room. He didn't even sit down on the bench. The Pacers would enter halftime down just two points. But unfortunately for Pacers fans, this would be the end of the happiness of your night. Bucks ran away with it in the third. Milwaukee extended their lead all the way up to 21. Then the Pacers went on a nice 8-0 run to end the third quarter. So entering the fourth quarter, the Pacers were only down 10, but from there, it was a wrap. Eric Bledsoe scored seven points in one minute. It was just a domination. The Bucks are that good. The question on everyone's mind, can the Milwaukee Bucks go to an NBA Finals? Can they do this in the playoffs? Now, we've had a very small sample size. People are rushing to judgment on uh, Giannis about, let's say, and he, he can't perform in the playoffs. He's comparing him to Harden. He's a regular season player. That's very unfair. He's only 25 years old. But I will say he does need to show us something. I think I need to see. And we'll see how it goes. I think they, they, need, they should be in the finals this year, though. We'll see how it goes. What do you think, Bucks, Bucks fans? Leave a comment. Let me know.